Toby, sir. Thanks. You can take off for the night, Charlie. We're done. Thank you, Mr. President. Good evening, sir. Tony Marino is going to abstain, huh? Yeah. He was a great public servant, Toby. A great senator. Didn't Edmund Burke say that a representative owes not just his industry, but his judgment? And betrays you if he sacrifices his judgment to yours? Yeah. And then he was voted out of office five years later by the people of Bristol. That's not the point, sir. I know. The fact is, the opponents of the treaty on both sides of the aisle, you've got to respect them, Toby. They're politicians, and they're flying in the face of overwhelming public opinion. I have to respect senators for defying 82% of the American people. Can I tell you something honestly? This is one of those situations I could give a damn what the people think. The complexities of a global arms treaty, the technological, military, the diplomatic nuance, it's staggering, Toby. 82% of the people can't possibly be expected to reach an informed opinion. You want to call a session anyway? No. No. <clears throat> if we lose and we will, we cut off. Yeah. Anything else? No, sir. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. President. You know, we forget sometimes. In all the talk about democracy, we forget it's not a democracy, it's a republic. People don't make the decisions, they choose the people who make the decisions. Could they do a better job choosing? Yeah. But when you consider the alternatives... Anyway, Abby's in New Hampshire. You want to come up for a cigar? The day's over, Toby. We'll live to fight another one. Come on up, I'll beat your ass at chess. You're betting me, Mr. President? Yes. <laughs> <laughs>